Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for February 29th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, February 29th, 1736, Anne Lee was born in Manchester, England. Anne Lee was the founder of the American Society of Shakers. In 1770, Anne Lee broke from the Quakers to establish her own religious movement based on celibacy, equality between men and women, energetic worship, pacifism, and a communal economy. In 1774, Lee led her flock to the New World. By the mid-19th century, some 17,000 Shakers lived in the United States. Today, the Shakers are best known for their simple yet masterfully designed furniture and architecture. And on this day in 1915, in South Carolina, the minimum age allowed by law for workers in mills, factories, and mines was raised from 12 years old to 14 years old. And on this day in 1940, Patty McDaniel won the Academy Award for the Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of the character Mammy in Gone with the Wind. She was the first African American ever to win an Oscar. Word to the world. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, Stop bugging me! If you are bugging someone, it means that you're annoying them. You might say, my little brother won't stop bugging me. He's driving me crazy. Some people believe that the saying comes from the West African words boogle and baga, which means to annoy. Others think that it refers to bugs which buzz around your head and really, really are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what are the oldest playable musical instruments ever found? The answer is a collection of six bone flutes, which were found on the Yellow River floodplain in China. Amazingly, scientists believe that these flutes are 9,000 years old. They're about eight and a half inches long, which is 22 centimeters, and have seven holes up the front. They look like small recorders. The bones used to make these ancient flutes came from the leg of a red-crowned crane. Health tips. <laughs> At the back of your throat are your tonsils. Tonsils are the first line of defense in stopping germs from getting into your body. They trap the germs. Sometimes when they fight germs, they get red and swollen and they hurt. But they're doing a vital job for you. So help keep them healthy by keeping your body strong and resistant to germs. Exercise, sound sleep, and a balanced diet are the keys to a strong, germ-resistant body. And by the way, if your tonsils have been taken out, your first line of defense is gone. So you need to take extra good care of yourself. We love people. Right. Susan B. Anthony devoted 50 years of her life to the cause of women's suffrage, that is, women being able to vote. After casting her ballot in the 1872 election in her hometown of Rochester, New York, she was arrested, charged, tried, and convicted for voting illegally. She was sentenced to pay a fine of $100 and court costs. Anthony used this experience to promote the cause of women's suffrage. In a speech delivered repeatedly in 1872 and 1873, she called on her listeners to fight our battle for the ballot, all peaceably, but nevertheless persistently through to complete triumph, when all United States citizens shall be recognized as equals before the law. Women gained the vote with the passage of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution in 1920, 14 years after Anthony's death. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. 
Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.